Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday. It's Friday already, July 21st, 2023. I'm the Drunk Poker Root. Tis be your time. Uh, it's been a day. I want to thank everybody that reached out to, you know, commiserate or send their positive vibes after, you know, letting you guys know that I lost my job last week. I really appreciate it. Honestly, it, it surprised me. Um... So yeah, thank you for that. Let's get on with beer, because what else am I going to do? I spent the day cleaning the house. I, I got the kitchen and the basement done. I got lots more to do. This this house husband work is never done, but let's have a beer. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to the tie Cat game tonight, so there's that going for me. It's a revisit. It's been a couple of years since we've talked about it, but not a couple of years since I've had it. I, I buy this beer fairly regularly. Um, this and Canuck are the two best pale ales in Ontario. I will fight people. I've always said it. I said it before. Bellwoods Brewery Jutsu Pale Ale, 5.6%. Uh, it's, uh, I remember years and years and years ago when I first tried Jutsu and I said, man, if this could just be at the LCBO, it would be the best pale ale in Ontario. And it's at the LCBO and it's one of the best pale ales in Ontario. So every once in a while I like to talk about the beers I'm drinking that are sort of regular beers that I buy. Uh, Jutsu remains a regular beer that I buy. I actually bought two. I drank one the other night because I was like, I really want a Jutsu. So I was like, no, oh, well, I guess I just have to be more judicious with the pour on the video. <sighs> I have uh, some funky Bellwoods and some barrel aged Bellwoods in the cellar that are going to come out in the next, you know, week or two. Uh, just because we're we're doing that, we're drinking the cellar, accelerate the cellar. But for now, let's get into one of my favorite pale ales. Cheers. It's still that great tangerine, grapefruit, mango, pithy, dank, you know, bitter beautifully refreshing soft but but it has a bite pale ale it's it's just really really good and if you like a good pale ale and it's got five six so it's got a little oomph to it too it just remains one of those beers that is a touchstone to 2016 which to me is kind of the watershed year for where beer sort of changed for me where i started talking about beer all the time and you know, like, like uh, in pursuit and how much Bell was, and we've been over this a million times, and I hate to rehash it all the time, but how much they meant to me is sort of this iconic, like, you know, bucket list brewery. And now to see them at the LCBO still every time kind of go, yeah, that's awesome. It really is. It's awesome for me. You know, and maybe I get excited about stupid things, but there was a time when, you know, you had to drive to, to Ossington, and that drive to Toronto was never fun. And now I just go pick up whatever, man. And they got all kinds of different ones coming out, so... Regular pale ale, grab yourself some jutsu, you'll be all right. Cheers, my friends. If every night is Friday night, and every day is Saturday right now, but it's Friday, so is it Friday afternoon? I don't know what time it is anymore. 